Hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome back to the Gypsy Wears channel. Today's Monday. We sold a couple things on eBay this weekend, but not much. It's uh, it's pretty slow. Uh, my website has been really slow. As I was saying, I believe in a video earlier, uh, I don't think I sold anything on there for like nine days. And um, I actually purchased something off of myself this weekend to make sure everything was working properly, and it was. So I bought a, I bought a knife off of myself. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at some things. I've already packed up one item. Um, didn't really want to disclose it on the channel, so that's been packed up. But uh, other than that, here's a few more items we're uh, shipping out today. These have been really good to me. I have these listed for, this is like anti-aging cream from Oil of Olay or whatever. I had them listed for a couple of years on eBay for like 15 bucks a bundle of three. They're travel size little bottles. And no movement and all of a sudden I started running Google Ads and um, driving traffic to my website and Americans started buying these um, mind you I'm using a cross-border shipper so the shipping is really cheap for them so maybe that that is helping but I actually upped the price on them and they're still selling so we got four of these little bags going out to various parts of the states some dude in Canada in like I think he's in like BC or Alberta or something. He bought this. I mean, we're, this is a Canadian tire product, but maybe he's somewhere rural. I can't remember. I'll have to check. Um, actually, I'll check right now. So this guy is located in Pickering, Ontario, and he's ordering a product that can be, you know, um, purchased at Canadian Tire. Really weird. 40 bucks for that multimeter. Interesting stuff. Um, almost makes me want to carry some Canadian tire product, uh, but, you know, I don't at the same time because it's so readily available here. Anyhow, uh, here we go. A couple of these getting shipped out, one order. I use green tape to put this stuff on so that way I can just rip it off when uh, it gets ordered. It doesn't damage the packaging. That's part of my inventory system there. A couple of these going out. And, uh... Some potato heads, parts and pieces. We got 20 bucks for this little box here. They're vintage. It's all damaged down the back. Of course, it was disclosed. And a couple of knives. This one's going to a customer. These are cool little knives. They're um, spring assisted. So, boom, and they just pop open like that. Anyway, this one's going to a guy fairly local, I think. And then I bought this little pinkish purple one, and it's really cool. I like the serrated blade on it. But they just pop out like that. I got these at a really good price, like three bucks a piece. I wish I bought more. I wish I just bought everything they had. Anyways, so then that one's for me. I bought that off my own website just to make sure stuff was working. That's what we're shipping today. So, uh, speaking of potato heads, there, let's have a little look over here. So I'm making lots. I'm these are this is the end of a big potato head buy. I sold a lot of brand new in box potato head stuff, but this is the leftover. That's like the paperwork stuff there. A few more parts and pieces there, which I'm going to include with all this crap on the table. Not my GoPro, of course, but yeah, all these parts and pieces. Not this record. So that's going to be one big lot. I'll show you what that looks like. And this guy will probably just maybe sell separately for 15 bucks. And then I got all this random assortment stuff in here. So uh, a couple lots anyway. I'm um, going to lot all that stuff up and sell all that uh, like that because, you know, I'm down to the nitty gritty there. It's just it's time to get rid of that stuff and move on to, uh, you know, uh, cleaner shelf space. Uh, this I got two of these. I've already sold one. I'm going to clean up this box and get this one listed. And then um, these I bought years ago. I had some listed, but I pretty much sold all the ones I had listed. So I got to take inventory of these wrestler dudes and um, and get and get them listed on eBay here. Oh, there goes the furnace. We got to John. Cena and we got JBL and Triple H and Road Dog Battle Packs. I got to figure out what I still got online. I'm pretty sure it's time for me to list the rest of these overstock. I just found them in my storage unit. So 
hopefully uh, we'll get that stuff done. I'm gonna stop this now and get get listing. All right, I know I said I was gonna show you guys a picture of that listing, but um, I forgot to take video of it anyway. So there's a picture of it on the screen there for you. We are at the end of the day Monday. Um, did my big potato head listing, packed a few orders, took care of a couple customers, emails, all that stuff. Next thing you know, my few hours at the building are done. But uh, that is what it is. I still got some stuff over here to list tomorrow with the wrestlers and um, all that other stuff there. Wampa still over there. So another potato head listing. Um, so I'll get to that hopefully. Don't really have much more to say. I mean, I wish I got, I, I had more things to do today or got more things done that I could have showed you, but I didn't. And that's just the nature of the, be the beast when you um, run your own business. You know, it's just one thing after another. The phone rings, you know, try to get a bunch of listings and you can't. And uh, next thing you know, it's time to go home and, and uh, keep plugging away, but on the computer. Really hard to film in here with the uh, heater going all the time, but uh, still having a lot of fun. Hope you guys are too. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.